bigger in size than a car and containing the pixels of 266 iPhones, the world's largest digital camera is now almost finally here. And yes, it takes at least two people to lift off its lens cap. This camera, which stands 1.65 meters tall and weighs 2,800 kilograms, has recently been unveiled at Slack National Accelerator Lab by Stanford University. Meant to serve scientists in grabbing snapshots of billions of faraway galaxies to be able to study them, this camera has been in the works for seven years now, hoping to catalogue a whopping amount of 20 billion galaxies over the next 10 years as part of a project called the Legacy Survey of Space and Time. This camera is our window into the universe and will help scientists and the world better understand the nature of dark energy and dark matter. The camera hopes to capture 15 terabytes of data per night for a decade. As per the project which was started a couple years ago, this camera is supposed to be sent to the Vera Rubin Observatory in Chile in May 2023 and mounted on a telescope located in the Andes Mountains. Having already been recognized as the biggest optic device in the world by the Guinness Book of World Records, this camera possesses the biggest lens ever created with a diameter of 1.57 meters. It can see with enough detail to be able to clearly capture a particle of dust on the moon. With the help of its 189 sensors, this camera can successfully capture light emanating from the stars and other celestial objects turning it into electrical signals, which can then be translated into digital photos. Each sensor is sized at around 16 millimeters, and the camera has 3.2 gigapixels in total. Behind the lens of the camera sit detectors that are fashioned from charge-coupled device sensors, very commonly known in astronomy. When the lens cap is removed, the detectors are visible as a silver and blue grid. The LSST camera project manager Vincent Riot says that the camera's sensors were extremely expensive to make and any misalignments could easily damage them. He said that putting them all together was like parking Lamborghinis millimeters apart. The 64 centimeter wide focal plane of the camera corresponds to a 3.5 degree field of view, which means the camera can capture more than 40 times the area of the full moon in the sky with each exposure. While the camera is nearing completion and is almost fully assembled at this point, there's still some work left. Six filters which are supposed to fit over the lens in order to allow only a certain wavelength of light to pass through is something that we are still waiting on. These filters are yet to be installed. Moreover, the lab is also hoping to give it a modernized cooling system before it gets on an airplane and heads to Chile for testing. If all goes well according to plan, the camera will capture its first snapshot of the night sky in 2024. For The Print, this is Gorvi Narang. For more, log on to theprint.in and follow us on our social media handles.